Guys, so this right here is the fifth floor of this shopping mall. So we got all these cars over here, but here we actually got a poster. Neo Swap Station. Look at that. Very interesting. Ah, and then uh, on this other side of this pillar, we also got another poster with a QR code advertising the ES6. Very, very nice. Going forward, let's see all the different cars that they have here. So here we have Harmony OS software. We got Ito and then Ito. Yeah, we got Ito cars going on over here. Lots of different restaurants. Okay. Ito, Ito M7, Expo, Hyper, Avatar. So they actually kind of changed this area up a little bit. As you can tell, the foot traffic here isn't as high as Neo's downstairs. Take a look. Here's the X phone. <laughs> they ain't got enough room. You gotta put the cars outside. You got the G6 over here. X9. This is the X9 is of course X phone's best-selling car. Lots of restaurants. Then G9 just awkwardly pushed to the side. Now, before there used to be a Weltmeister store here. There also used to be a Hi-Fi store here as well, but now that's gone. But you got Volkswagen ID. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Lots of different restaurants. And you can tell this is a, you know, there's also some traffic on the fifth floor. Here we got Denza. Mm -hmm. Denza cars. We'll loop back a little bit. Polestar, all right, Voya cars, Denza cars, huh? Denza, of course, the uh, Denza D9, the DMI version is the one that sells the best. You got Zeker as well. And you can tell these stores kind of just makes everybody look homogenous. It makes everybody seem like they're the same, right? So, Zeker 009, you got some people checking it out, okay? And then IM Motors, nobody checking out these cars. Wow, that's very unfortunate. They just launched the IM L6, which is a pretty nice car, to be honest. But nobody's checking it out. We got the LS6, pretty nice. And then here we got Lee Auto. Lee Auto's got some people, as usual, Lee Auto, you know, hybrid cars, gasoline, lots of restaurants here and there, lots of people, and even people waiting, they can check out the cars, the auto, Arc Fox, Arc Fox is still alive, quite surprising to be honest, the Arc Fox, they, uh, they're not selling that well, so I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, it's pretty surprising how they're still alive, <laughs> and then here, we got a brand, I don't even know what that brand is, but here we got the G2. G2 Robo 1, Robo 01. Very interesting car. Voya. The Voya cars also sells all right, decently well. Here we got Polestar. Interestingly enough, Polestar actually, they're not doing too well here in China, all right. And then just, uh, Looping around, we got a Dairy Queen. And uh, I have no idea what this brand is. Very interesting. <laughs> but you, you can tell, I mean, they got just a car parked outside here in the walkway. I mean, how awkward is that? So clearly it shows that this, you know, it's a good idea to not have your exhibit here on the fifth floor. It's kind of chaotic up here. All right, and Avatar, Avatar 1-2, Avatar 1-1. Both pretty interesting cars. What is up guys? I am today here at the new store here at Hobson One. This is actually a brand new store. If you watched my video from three years ago, you would have seen that this was actually a tiny store and there used to be Zara over here. But now, Neo has taken over and it is a huge, massive new store. And as you can tell, this is the main entrance to this big, massive shopping mall. It's absolutely huge shopping mall. And this is the main entrance and of course, Neo has a logo right there so everybody can see that this is indeed a Neo store. 
And just look at the amount of people, right? I mean, this is just a crowded, jam-packed place, and everybody will pass by this new store, and a lot of people will go and check it out. So we're actually gonna go in and talk to the sales rep there, and also, uh, you know, film what it's like inside, all right? So look at the amount of traffic, a lot of people. All right, so this is prime location, guys. So here, of course, we have the Neo store. Lots of people inside the store. Actually, a lot of people taking test drives as well. And then uh, there's my son over there. We got the ES6. Lots of different cars here. Very, very cool. And this store is apparently like, you know, it goes all the way over here. We got a nice little uh, resting room here, sales reps. Etc. This place was supposed to be like a Neo house, but then uh, you know they couldn't get the second floor, so they just turned it into a Neo space. So there's my son and my wife. So I talked to the sales rep, and oh look, there's actually an escalator over here that goes to the second floor. Very cool. EC6. Wow. People checking out the cars. <laughs> and then there we got some customers buying the car actually very cool et7 wow that's very nice ec6 with the rear spoiler and then the es7 so i actually talked to uh one of the sales rep here and they said you know now the wait time it's still around three to four weeks for any single car that you order. And uh, inventory cars are in hot demand. And this is a really nice spot that they have over here. Lots of customers walking in and then they all get to see the car. And then most of these guys, most of these sales reps, they're actually kind of new apparently. And um, it seems like a lot of them have been uh, promoted or they've been promoted to like Envo, etc. So of course inside the car you got a really nice demonstration of what the uh, Neo Pilot is like, NOP, and then you got a heads up display showcasing it in action, what it looks like. And then here you got, uh, this is the ES7, and then they have different uh, little pictures to quickly show you what the car is all about. So they, they, they made some changes to this, which is quite nice. Some videos, very, very nice, 8295 chip, etc. So according to the sales reps here, there are still a lot of orders. People are buying the car. And um, the really nice thing is, of course, people are interested in Neo and they know the brand. I think this is the most important part. They know about the brand. Some people, most people know about the brand, but most people don't seem to know about battery swap. Um, it's still a situation where, you know, if they want to understand battery swap, they got to go test drive the car and they'll show them battery swap. And what's really cool about Neo stores nowadays is that they usually have a swap station very close. So for example, this store right across the road, okay, so here's the EC7, there's a road over there, and right across the road, there's a swap station right there, and then you can actually go swap right there, show them what swap is all about. And it's very quick and easy, and Neo has the cars actually parked outside the test drive vehicles. So Customers can quickly get into the car and then quickly uh, go and see what swap is all about. Apparently, according to the general manager of Neo here in Beijing, the fifth floor is sort of like a wet market. It's just absolutely crazy over there. And he said that you know if you go there, you know it, it sort of just puts you like the same as everybody else. All right. Whereas if you're down here, it's kind of very special. And I think they really hit the jackpot with this location and just. Look at the amount of people walking by. It's just absolutely crazy. And then uh, Neo's got these cars to showcase, which is absolutely nice. And of course, when it comes to advertising battery swap, they got this little uh, picture here, this poster, showcasing that it takes three minutes to swap and you can get a thousand kilometers, of course, with the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. And then uh, some other cool posters, etc. So pretty basic store, but gets a lot of traffic all right so guys competition is very intense but at the same time remember new is making all-time high in terms of deliveries all these guys they don't have moats right their sales get eaten up by competitors anybody that has a cheaper car undercuts them 
and they lose sales. Whereas for Neo, you got Batter Swap as their moat, and Neo is doing fantastic. All right, Neo's doing very well. And you can tell from these guys, most of these guys aren't doing too well. Look at how empty the Xpeng store is. You know, I like the X9 to be honest, but clearly having the store downstairs is a lot better idea. All right, so Neo is going to continue to do well and they're going to make probably this month new all-time high deliveries as well. So that's going to be pretty nice. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.